The Battle of the Pyrenees was a large-scale offensive launched on 25 July 1813 by Marshal Nicolas Jean de Dussault from the Pyrenees region on Emperor Napoleon's order, in the hope of relieving French garrisons under siege at Pamplona and San Sebastian. After initial success the offensive ground to a halt in face of increased Allied resistance under the command of Arthur Wellesley. Marquis of Wellington, Salt abandoned the offensive on 30 July and headed toward France, having failed to relieve either garrison. The Battle of the Pyrenees involved several distinct actions. On 25 July, Salt and two French corps fought the reinforced British 4th Division and a Spanish division at the Battle of Roncesvalles. The Allied force successfully held off all attacks during the day but retreated from the Roncesvalles Pass that night in the face of overwhelming French numerical superiority. Also on 25, a third French corps severely tried the British 2nd Division at the Battle of Maya. The British withdrew from the Maya Pass that evening. Wellington rallied his troops a short distance north of Pamplona and repelled the attacks of Salt's II Corps at the Battle of Sarraurine on 28 July. Instead of falling back to the northeast toward Roncesvalles Pass, Salt made contact with his Third Corps on 29 July and began to move north. On 30 July, Wellington attacked Salt's rearguards at Sauron, driving some French troops to the northeast, while most continued to the north. Rather than use the Maya Pass, Salt elected to head north up the Bidassoa River Valley. He managed to evade Allied attempts to surround his troops at Yancy on 1 August and escaped across a nearby pass after a final rearguard action at Echelar on 2 August. The French suffered nearly twice as many casualties as the Allied army. Background After the decisive French defeat of the Battle of Atoria, Marshal Sulk consolidated the remnants of four armies into a single force of 80,000 troops. Salt ordered General of Division Jean-Baptiste Drouet, Comte d'Erlone commanding one corps to attack and secure the Maya Pass. General of Division Honoré Ray was ordered by Sol to attack and seize the Roncesvalles Pass with his corps and the corps of General of Division, Bertrand Clausel. Marshal Salt's plan was to relieve the siege at Pamplona first, then swing the army westward to relieve the siege at San Sebastian. Forces Clausel's Lieutenancy of the Left consisted of the infantry divisions of Generals of Division Nicolas Francois Conru, EDME Acute Martin van der Meisen, and Eloy Charlemagne Taupin. Conrauk's 4th Division had 7,056 men in nine battalions. Van der Meisen's 5th Division counted 4,181 troops in seven battalions. Taupin's 8th Division numbered 5,981 infantry in nine battalions. Derland's Lieutenancy of the Centre included the infantry divisions of Generals of Division Jean Barthélemy d'Armagnac, Louis Jean Nicolas Abbe, and Jean Pierre Marancin. D'Armagnac's 2nd Division counted 6,961 troops in eight battalions. Abbe's 3rd Division was made up of 8,030 soldiers in nine battalions. Marancin's 6th Division had 5,966 men in seven battalions. Reel's Lieutenancy of the Right had the divisions of Generals of Division Maximilian Sebastian Foy, Antoine Louis Popon de Marcoun, and Thomas Mignot de la Martiniere. Foy's 1st Division numbered 5,922 soldiers in nine battalions. Mokun's 7th Division had 4,186 infantry in seven battalions. La Martiniere's 9th Division comprised 7,127 troops in ten battalions. Each corps had a single cavalry regiment attached for scouting purposes, for a total of 808 horsemen. The French reserve under General of Division Eugene Casimir Villiter held the defences on the lower Bidassoa River near the Bay of Bisquet. The reserves numbered 9,102 French troops in 14 battalions, 2,066 Germans in 4 battalions, 1,349 Italians in 3 battalions. 
1,168 Spanish in three battalions, 1,550 French National Guards, and 2,019 King's Guards in three battalions the last being the remnant of Joseph Bonaparte's bodyguard. In addition, General of Division Pierre Benoit Solt commanded 3,981 light cavalrymen in 10 regiments and General of Division and François Charles Trelliard led 2,358 dragoons in 6 regiments. The two cavalry divisions remained in the rear. There were about 7,900 gunners, sappers, wagon drivers, and other troops. General of Brigade Louis Emmanuel Ray and 3,000 troops garrisoned San Sebastian while General of Brigade Louis Pierre Cassin held Pamplona with her 3,500-man garrison. At Bayonne were 5,595 French conscripts. Altogether, Salt had 99,906 troops under his orders. Of this total he used 63,572 men in his offensive. Wellington defended the line of the Western Pyrenees with a covering force of 62,000 men. These faced to the northeast, with the left anchored on the Bay of Biscay at the mouth of the Bidassoa River. From left to right, he deployed the following infantry divisions. Major General Kenneth Howard's first on the coast, Major General Charles Alton's light at Les Arco, Lieutenant General George Ramsey, 9th Earl of Dalhousie's 7th at Echelar, Lieutenant General William Stewart's 2nd at the Maya Pass and Elizondo, Major General Francisco Silvera, Count of Amarante's Portuguese near his Peggy Pass. Lieutenant General Larry Coles fourth at Roncevax Pass and Major General Pablo Marillo's Spanish also at Roncevax. In reserve were Major General Dennis Pack's 6th Division at Honest Tober and Lieutenant General Thomas Picton's 3rd Division at Oleg, plus other Portuguese and Spanish units. Cavalry being of little value in the mountains, Wellington stationed most of his far to the rear, except for two light dragoon brigades. The siege of San Sebastian was conducted by Major General James Leith's 5th Division and other units under the direction of Lieutenant General Thomas Graham. Pamplona was besieged by General Henry O'Donnell, 1st Count of La Bisbal's Spanish Division and other units. Battle. Mayer and Ronsfalla The surprise offensive opened on 25 July 1813. The passes of Mayer and Roncesvo were both weakly held by the Allies spread over a 50-mile front from Pamplona to the sea. After breaking through the Mayer Pass, Derlone was to move southwest through the Bastorn Valley to seize the pass of Velet at 43 degrees 2 minutes 48 seconds north 1 degree 36 minutes 48 seconds west 43.04667 degrees north 1.61333 degrees west 43.04667 Minus 1.61333, north of Pamplona. After storming Roncesvo Pass, Clausel and Ray were instructed to march southwest toward Pamplona. Salt had trouble securing rations for his soldiers, so he launched his offensive with only four days' rations. The responsibility for Mayor Pass lay with Stuart's 2nd Division. That morning, Stuart decided that the French would not attack left the brigades of Major General William Pringle and Lieutenant Colonel John Cameron in the valley and rode to Elizondo, 10 miles to the south. Some French soldiers were seen and light companies were sent up in support of the picket. When the French attacked in force, the British forces in the valley had to climb to the pass in full kit. By the time they got up, the picket force was wiped out and 10,000 of Derland's men occupied the pass. In the Battle of Maya, Pringle opposed Armagnac's division, while Cameron faced the rest of the French corps. The 4,000 British tried manfully to retake the pass, but they were unable to do so. On the other hand, the narrowness of the defile helped the British to hold off Derlin's immensely superior force. When Stuart returned at 2 p.m., he pulled the Redcoats back to a second position. 
By 3 p.m., the British were on the verge of disaster. At this point, Major General Edward Barnes's Brigade of Dalhousie's 7th Division arrived from the west to strike Durlone in the flank and the battle died down. The British lost 1,610 men and four cannons out of 6,000, while French losses numbered 2,100 out of 20,900. That evening, Lieutenant General Roland Hill authorized a retreat to Elizondo. Derlone worried about Barnes's incursion and pursued very cautiously the next day. He only advanced six miles on the 26th. Cole held Ronsfeld Le Pass with his 4th Division, Marillo's Spanish Division and Major General John Byme's Brigade of the 2nd Division. A total of 11,000 men. From 600 to 9 a.m., Byme's Brigade took the brunt of Clausel's assault in the Battle of Roncesvalles, while Cole rushed up reinforcements. Cole fended off the French until 5 p.m. when thick fog rolled in. The Allies lost 350 men while French casualties were about 530. Troubled by a small French probe of his right flank and fearful that 36,000 Frenchmen would swamp him out of the mist, Cole quit the area and retreated toward Pamplona, though he had been ordered to hold the pass to the utmost. A worse mistake in Wellington's eyes was Cole's failure to report his actions in a timely manner. When Picton appeared with his 6,000-man 3rd Division, Cole convinced him to retreat also. Because of the fog, the French did not realize that the British had decamped until the next morning. Clausel pursued, but did not come into contact with Cole's rear guard until late in the afternoon. Meanwhile, Riel's corps attempted to use an alternate path across the mountains and wound up marching in a circle. A push on 27 July from Roncesvalles Le Pass by troops personally commanded by Marshal Salt, got within 10 miles of Pamplona, believing Derlin's corps to be the main French attack and receiving no information from Cole. Wellington spent 26 July setting up his defences in the direction of Maya Pass. Leaving Hill in charge at Elizondo, he then rode toward Pamplona on 27 July to find out what was happening. He ordered Pack's 6th Division to join Cole and Picton. Sararine and Salt's retreat on 27 July, Wellington joined the 17,000 British and Portuguese force at Sararine. To Clausel's intense frustration, Salt decided to wait for Real's tardy corps to arrive and even took a nap. The Allies lost 2,652 casualties while French losses were probably heavier. Hill's corps, blocking Derlone, was pulled back by Wellington towards Sararine, but Derlone was never able to reach Sararine to help Salt. Instead, when Derlin's cavalry made contact with Salt on the morning of 29 July, the French marshal decided to move to the north rather than retreat northeast toward Roncesvalles. As 30 July dawned, Salt's men could be seen retreating east to west across the British front. Now reinforced by his 7th Division, Wellington ordered an attack. The French clung to Sararine village in a bitter fight before being driven away. The British reported 538 casualties while French losses were much heavier. Cut off by the sudden British offensive, Foe's division at the east end of the French line retreated by way of Roncesvalles Le Pass to the northeast. Foe was joined by elements of Reels and Clausel's commands so that he took as many as 12,000 men with him. Meanwhile, Derlone led the rest of the French army in a retreat to the north, pushing back Hill's forces back just enough to get through. On 30 July at Bonza, Abbe's division of Derlone suffered 750 casualties, while the Allies suffered 1,056 which consisted of 156 British and 900 Portuguese. Instead of retreating over Mayer Pass as Wellington expected, Salt marched north up the Bidassoa River Valley. At Yancy, part of Major General Francisco de Long's Spanish division blocked a key bridge. For two hours, without support from the rest of their division, a battalion of the 2nd Asturias Regiment held off Derlin's entire corps. Finally, five French battalions stormed the bridge and Salt's defeated army crossed over it. 
Too late to block the retreat, Alton's light division arrived from Leitzer and fired into the gorge from above, causing chaos in the French column, his starving army fast disintegrating into a mob. Salt swung northeast through Echelar and reached the French frontier via the Col de Lisrieta at 43 degrees 15 minutes 39 seconds north 1 degree 37 minutes 8 seconds west 43.26083 degrees north 1.61889 degrees west. 43.26083, minus 1.61889 on the 2nd of August. On that day, elements of Conraux and La Martiniere's divisions fought a rearguard action at Echelar against Major General Robert Ross' Brigade of Coles, Division, Barnes' Brigade, and the 95th Rifles. The French suffered about 300 casualties, while inflicting a loss of 368 killed, wounded, and missing on the pursuers. Meanwhile, over 1,000 French wounded were abandoned and captured by the Allies. Conclusion Salt failed to relieve the sieges at San Sebastian and Pamplona, suffered about 13,000 casualties, and had to withdraw to French soil weakened and demoralized. Salt's army lost 1,313 killed, 8,582 wounded, and 2,702 captured. Out of 1,318 French officers, 423 became casualties. Wellington's total losses for the campaign were 7,000. The next action was the Battle of Saint-Martial at the end of August.